Okay, so Dylan, right? Mm-hmm. IGN just released its top 100 moments in video game of all time. All right? Oh, oh God. Here we go. Number Are you ready? One, Are you ready? Number one was getting the Master Sword in Ocarina of Time. Are you going to tell me that that <laughs> yeah, is... he is going to agree. As far as video game history... Thinking, Look, bro, you're talking to the wrong person. <laughs> I beat that fucking game 25 times. I was broke as shit, and I love that game. And that was my number one moment. Was it? Was it really? Was, out of, out of it, all the video game moments there are in the world. Okay. It was. This is what got me of Ocarina of Time. When you take the sword out, right? That you get big, right, Dylan? Yeah, you, right? you ate. That was, that's what made it epic. You were a kid. When you pull that sword, you're an adult. And then yeah, the like, whole concept of time changes. Yeah, and then you walk out and the whole the it's whole not, kingdom is it's not like, exactly exactly zombies and shit and undead and you're like what the fuck just happened it is amazing well but he doesn't agree he I, said he wants to put number one uh, uh uh final fantasy seven when Aerith dies which they had at number three I'm yeah talking to you <laughs> yeah <laughs> what was number two number two was psycho mantis and Metal Gear. Psycho Mantis. You see, yeah. I, I, I agree with that. I agree with that one too. You would put... you So you're saying that Ares dying is number three over Psycho Mantis. So the problem is, again, with me is that I didn't own a PS1 oh. when Final Fantasy came out. Oh. So I, I, didn't, I didn't get to play that until like years later. Oh, and then it happened. So you already knew what was going on. But here, yeah. th- this, is, this is what they have. And tell me that this that these numbers aren't skewed for just lasting memories. Number forty two. Nuking Megaton. Nuking Megaton. Mm. And Fallout Three. Mm. Mm. I mean it was pretty epic at the time. No, that's what I'm saying. But at forty two, yeah. you're gonna say that there are forty two other things that are as vivid as that. At least I made the list. <laughs> Okay, so from there, are you ready? Are you ready? Because he's keeping it real. <laughs> number 39, Clem and Lee say goodbye from the Walking Dead video game. Oh my God, that shouldn't be 49. That should be in the top 10. That should be in the top 10. You're going to tell Fuck. me, like, that almost made me cry. Like, I'm sitting there choking back tears. Oh, damn, that was terrible. Yeah, that was pretty good. I mean, I, did they have the dogs coming out of the windows in Resident Evil 1? That's number 29. They put seeing the first zombie was more impressive than what? the dogs. Are you fucking kidding me? When the fucking <laughs> dog flies out the window. You dropped your controller. You, you died. That was it. I was like, that was Whoa. game over. And you're still trying to figure out the mechanics. So you're like walking in reverse. Yeah. No. Uh, you remember how hard it was to turn around? You're like a robot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the problem about this is like, it, this is all subject to opinion. So it really depends on well, it's IGN, that person's history. Nobody cares about yeah. their opinion. And then, <laughs> and, well, and then here's, here's one that, that threw me off again. Number 36, the unveiling of Pyramid Head in Silent Hill. That was a fucking crazy. I know that was Wasn't fucking. Wasn't it like fucking that, that two-legged creature, the four-legged creature? It's the first time it comes out. It's yeah. screwing it. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what am no, I watching? You know what I would put in there? Go ahead. Fucking End of Shadow Colossus. Yeah, it was there. Well, no, no. The, be- the, the end. Fr- no, not the end. The very first the- time you saw Colossus, that was like number 10. What did you say? The end? Yeah, like when you Why? actually... Because I was Because you're equal at the end? Me. Whoops. Spoiler, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, yeah, I, I, mean, I don't think you that. You turn into the demon god... And then mm. you get like sucked in. Mm. It, it was pretty epic. You made the ultimate sacrifice. I wouldn't put that in there. That, that's it's more epic than when you see things. the fucking Colossus no, for the no, first time. No, the time. first time you see the Colossus is, is what was okay. Was Tomb Raider when the when the T Rex comes out? Was that, that was, in there? That was in like twenty five. <laughs> what where they had that one? Like, <laughs> I remember I, when that I, shit I came took, out. I took I took down the the ones that I felt should have been higher that weren't. Because they put nuking Megaton at 42, but then they put the nuclear bomb that was in Call of Duty 4 at number 10, or like number 11. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense. I If I had to put Call of Duty, the Modern Warfare, it would be when the guy betrays you. Oops, spoiler again, but... Which one? 
the the captain at the very end he kills uh man what was the name of the guy with the soap? mask he kills so yeah oh my god you remember that yeah shit that should be there when he betrays you oh how about when colonel in part two of metal gear solid 2 is a robot <laughs> holy shit it was part of the the patriots all that shit should have been in well there. The, out of all of them the four games that had the most was Resident Evil, was Metal Gear, was the Resident Evil series, was the Metal Gear series, the Zelda series, and I want to say Mario had several. Mario, really? I mean, what would I say if Mario has, I don't see anything shocking in Mario that I'm like, oh my God, he's a plumber. He's not Italian. <laughs> well, the only, the only game what? that was shocking was uh, Mario 64. Just yeah, the, the sixty four was in there just because like the yeah, flying element, like when when yeah. you first get the hat and you can fly. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, man. But I mean, like, I they should remake that. But um, game. every Metal Gear was in there. One one through five was in there. Um, Resident Evil had multiple moments, whether it was seven, whether it was four. I think six should be a shocking there too. It was released. It should be number number one, right? Resident <laughs> Evil Six was released, and then um, it should have never been made. And then Zelda had a. Uh, it was more of the older Zeldas that had more of the shock and the the shock and awe than the. What's it called? Made it though. Um, the new one did. The new one had a moment, but they were. It was low. Oh, what was it? You collect a thousand, and then you get poop. Yeah, no. That should be number fucking three. You know what I'm talking about? You're not really trying to do that, are you? No, no, I'm not. Going uh, going to collecting crap and then getting poop. Or shit. Whatever, I don't care. Achievements. (laughs) Nintendo's getting achievements, maybe. What do you think? It's about damn time. It's about fucking time, yes. Yes, but, but they still haven't announced anything. They Everybody's haven't announced saying... anything, and they just made fun of people who collect shit to get a fucking achievement. Yeah, yeah. You get absolutely uh, shit. A thousand oh. seeds, and what does the guy do? He takes a dump, and he says, "Here you go." <laughs> Literally, I know. That's what you get. Here you go, asshole. I know. Thank you for collecting yep. my seeds. Now, that was, that was fiber for me, and now I'm gonna give you a big dump. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> and it even says it in the description. It smells funny, right? Is yeah, it, it smells it funny. It smells badly. Yeah. I would have, I would have broken something. I would have gone ballistic. <laughs> a thousand? You don't understand what. Oh, no. I, I How no. hard is to find these seeds? No, but I, I know. One, I know how hard and painstaking a lot of that stuff is because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a trophy hunter. Yes, but this, but, is a, this is the type of thing that you need to do your. I mean, I'm sure somebody found it without doing any any homework or internet or anything like that. But how? I mean, I'm sure the guy who does this, the, the, the strategy guides, must have done it without any help. But it's a thousand, right, Dylan? Is it a thousand? Yeah. Uh, 900. Oh, whoa, okay. I missed it by a hundred. At the <laughs> 900 seeds, you have to comb that fucking game. You have to. It's like fucking finding fleas all over that game. And then they give you a big pile of shit. No, that game is a big pile of shit, but... How dare you? We're not going to get into that. We're going to get... And uh, another news on the Switch, because we're going to be talking about a lot of Switches, is did you play the game... Uh, what was it? Octopath Traveler? Uh, I watched the demo. Um, it looked really good. No, I just showed it to Frank. Um, it's I'm really like... good. It's real. It is. It is Xenogears meets Final Fantasy Tactics meets the 21st century. Yeah, it's like 2D, uh, 3D. It's what really, what really it... freaking like blew my mind was just the writing. The writing was so good. How the fuck did you get? Li- there was a trailer. What did you? Get? No, I, he watched I, the demo. I, he said he watched the demo. I watched. I watched the demo. Well, I do like that the stories change. Oh, right? I, you want to know what I like about it? Because it's eight characters. There's no fucking voices. You have to read. Yes. God. I do no, find there are, annoying. There are voices. No, no, no. There's and the cutscenes. There's voices. Yeah. The cutscenes, but when you're talking around, there is no voices. And then, what I don't uh, like well, is, well, is, is if the guy quits. says yes, he goes, yes, and then you have to read the rest. Yeah, yeah. I don't. There's like little that. quips. 
It's like, you're yeah, so, Go fuck I yourself. I hate voices. I hate <laughs> but voices. Like, but, like, the story them. itself, like, that was insane. Like, How does it first... work, though, right? Is is it you can play all eight characters at the same time, or you have to finish the game once? Uh, see, I'm not too sure about that. So, uh, what I'm thinking is that you go on your first quest, and you start meeting up uh, different characters. I'm guessing eight characters. Uh, uh, on their own journey, on their own adventure. So I'm not sure if they join you or if you finish a story and then you do Because that story. would be awesome if it was like that. You finish the game with one character and then you play the other character and then you somehow manage to end up where you met the other character. Sort of like Resident Evil 2. Yeah. That would be fucking amazing. So you get to see what the characters were doing at the same time. But then again... You know, I, I, you can't play the whole game with one character. You need more than one character. But the girl does powers. They, they showed the girl. Yeah, the girl can the girl. Uh, like Rainbows. charm somebody mm-hmm. and then have yeah. them fight for you in a battle, or yeah. she can. Uh, which goes back to a lot of women aren't gonna like that. <laughs> They're gonna be very upset that the woman can could trick men to do their her being and bidding. But I mean, that's that's. I, I <laughs> don't. Mean, I mean, don't. <laughs> No, but I mean, I, I'll say, I will say that as far as a manipulation standpoint, more women, I, in, in my personal, more women could get more men to do things rather than more men get women to do more things. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I find myself blindly doing things that my girlfriend asked me to do, and it's just, that's what it is. So you put it in the game as an ability. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I mean, that's. I mean, uh, we go back. I mean, ready here. Ready, ready. This is, uh, and this is how far back we'll go. You look at a book called Animal Farm. George Orwell talking about Stalinism. The one character that was a seductress was the cat that was female, because cats typically, if you went to the animal kingdom, I mean, hell, even Fat Farm used a, uh, even Baby Fat used a cat as their logo of sexy. That's the reason why Egyptians had cats. Uh And so the cat was a female character that manipulated all the other characters, used all the other animals on the farm to do her work, and she reaped the benefits. It's it's just natural history. When they, you know, when when movies and stuff want to say the top assassins of the world, two out of the three were women. Why? Because they can seduce some men. That's not sexist. That's real. Dylan, uh, Rebecca makes you do all kinds of things, right? (laughs) <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't have much to add to that because, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's an interesting mechanic. I'm guessing each character is going to have a different me- Yeah, what does the guy uh, do? The guy fights, trains them, right? Yeah. I, I, you can I fight remember. different people? Yeah. Like, yeah, I, oh, yeah, somebody yeah, in, he, a, in a town, he, you can uh, yeah, ask he, duel. He challenges. And you can probably get their everything. weapons or whatever yeah. the fuck, you know. So you do your own private I fights. I don't get why this hasn't been happening for the past, I don't know, since Xeno Gears and fucking Final Fantasy bro, And then they have the, the, the Xeno, Xeno Blade that's coming out. God, man. It's yeah, a really like fucking the, crazy year with this, this, this little Switch. The story is like super serious too. Bro, I'm, I'm gonna have to buy a second switch. Which one? Wait, 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 wait. No, we're still talking about project whatever. No, but... no. Are you yeah, talking Octopath. about Octopath? Okay, I was, I was saying because yeah. if you're talking about no, Zeno... no, there's so many games coming out. Oh no, there and, that and like Kayla I said, won't let me play with the switch because <laughs> she wants to play fucking Splatoon. But that's where um, <laughs> that's where the gaming. That, that's that's why Nintendo has me interested. I, I already said it, it. It has me interested, but that's because they're making adult titles. They're going back. I mean, it's one of the reasons why Super Nintendo did so well. Yeah. Secret of Mana, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy three, or six. They're going back, bro. <laughs> they're going back. They're, they're they're listening, and I think they're improving a lot. And, but I mean, I, yeah. I wish I wish Square would hire uh, uh, the guys that wrote at least the intro for Octopath Traveler. Uh, uh-huh. To write more of their shit. Well, it's Square Enix, isn't it? Yeah, it's Square. Mm. I'm like, where where were these writers in uh, Final Fantasy uh, 15? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I know. I <laughs> what's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think Final, Final Fantasy. I don't think Final Fantasy 15 story was, was that amazing. bad. 
No, it wasn't amazing. It wasn't, but it wasn't bad. Dylan? Yeah. You played yeah, it, it I didn't. It wasn't bad, but it, 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 it wasn't Octopath Traveler. No, no, it wasn't Octopath Traveler at all. But at the same time, the, this, is, this is where they... Final Fantasy is the Call of Duty of RPGs. Like it, You have to try to encompass everybody. Where the smaller games are, um, are doing better. There was a list... I think it was because of Octopath or it's it was the games that need fresh coats of paint to redo and two of them. And I'm glad I have you two here to talk about it. I can't remember what site if it was um was it Kotoku? Kotaku. Kotaku and uh, Kotaku. Or, or GameSpot. There are games that need fresh paint, especially with like this resurgence of uh Square. One of them, Parasite Eve. Yes. Agreed. And then yeah. the they should redo other that. one. And Vagrant Dylan, Story. Yup. Which one? <sighs> Vagrant Story. Oh, man. Oh. You know, I passed Vagrant Story with a wand, and I didn't even use it as magic. I just whooped. <laughs> I'm not lying. No. I killed it, a fucking bag with a wand, and I just kept on pushing the button real hard. You remember that? Yeah, you, you just had to time it right. Taka, 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 and I killed that fucking guy after like a thousand hits. No, that game that was, was... a great game. The game was beautiful. And it was it was interesting, and... You had that wandering forest where you can get lost. I mean, dude, I got lost in that fucking forest for... I I think I, I was legit lost in that forest for like three hours. God, RPG, man. What the, happened to them? I'm, they, and this goes back to why PlayStation 1's the greatest system of all time. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> let's, yes, I agree, but let's move on. Yeah, let, uh, let's, let's stick to Nintendo. Well, let's stick to no, Nintendo. No, 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 we're still sticking Okay, with- Dylan, we got something amazing we're going to talk about. Okay, we're going to talk about this all real right. fast. Okay, All right, we're go gonna ahead. talk about Destiny, okay? It came out last week. It came out last week, so let's go on. Let's move on. Um. So yeah. <laughs> All right, Dylan. We're just gonna move on now. Um, That's the news of Destiny. So with that, Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo got Rockstar. Yes. Nintendo's working with Rockstar to redo L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir, which people. Instead of taking this as a positive situation, like, wow, Rockstar got its game into Switch, people are bitching because it's the most expensive game out of the three systems. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> That's your biggest complaint. It's on a cartridge. It's going to be more expensive. Of course it's going to be more expensive. There's nothing you can do about it. Yes, it's going to be 20 bucks everywhere else. But, hey, you got to do what Nintendo says. That's it. Yeah. But um, with the L.A. Noir 2 and it getting remastered for the th- uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox, they're thinking that they're they're gonna make a sequel. It, yeah, like when you make a yeah. port, like so many years later, uh, I think they're getting in prime for a sequel. Do you think there's room for a sequel? Do you think so? Yeah, I think uh, so. I mean, I mean, different characters. I mean, I played the game. Story. It was, it wasn't very. I passed the whole game, and I just didn't think it was memorable. That's yeah. my opinion. It got unmemorable when you leave murder and go to arson. <laughs> what? You don't remember that? I don't remember. It's been a long time. I just remember. Dylan, you remember that, right? You, have to like you get, get demoted. The... I don't remember that shit at all. Wow. No. <laughs> it was I, a long time ago. I remember a lot of. I remember a lot of the game. You because... really liked that game. No, I, it was it was interesting, and then it lost interest. It, it was like. Here's this cop, and he's supposed to be like this clean cop and everything. And then it's like, well, I'm gonna cheat on my wife with this famous singer. And how you could do that? I don't remember. No, that. he cheated on his wife with the singer, and she left him. And then it was like it's the 1950s or 40s, so like divorce is a big deal. And oh man, I don't remember any of that. Didn't he just come back from the war or something? Like yeah, that? he came back from the yeah. war, and he was trying to be a cop, and everybody's like, oh, he's too clean. It, it, there were so many mechanics it about it. It was in L.A. too, right? Yeah. Oh, so there, that means there, there was corruption in there that were, time. But there was so much behind it that wasn't good. And that's why, that's why I remember it so distinctly. I'm like, this is just so bad. Like, I hate the, like, I hated the character. And when I found out he died in the end, because I didn't beat it. Like, Did he die? Yeah. Spoiler. Didn't he fall into the ocean or something? Did he? Dylan? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember any of that. Any of that. I, this is like a whole new game to me. I remember that. I remember <laughs> that he, he goes. 
he like solves the murder, but are it was we like, talking about the same game? What the fuck are you talking about? Um, he kills himself. No, he doesn't kill himself. He like tracks down the the. It, isn't it the the Black Dahlia murder? He like, was a Black Dahlia murder in the game. Isn't it? Isn't that what it was based upon? God, I don't remember any. Oh, of we that. have somebody talking. I don't. Oh, so that, I don't what's recall. going on? Who's that? I don't recall. Horizon. But this, this, this. Oh snap! I feel bad. But, but this is one of the reasons. Then say hi. Hi. <laughs> you can actually say hi to them. Yeah, no. I'm saying hi. <laughs> By uh, typing it. Uh... Oh, now it goes beyond. <laughs> beyond. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, I don't remember um, any of that. Yeah, no, I don't it... think that's the same game. I think you play something else. Well, we're doing good. How are you? <laughs> Wait a minute. There's 15 <laughs> seconds delay. We're going to stay here 15 I, seconds waiting for you to answer. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got songs, Michael. We're, Shut up, dogs. We're so professional here. Um, <laughs> and the dogs are going crazy in the background. Maybe some reason. Okay, so. Your mutts in check. Okami. <laughs> HD. Really, dog? Okay. <laughs> Hold on one second, no, guys. <laughs> dog wants to die. Keep your dogs in check. Jesus. <laughs> Who's running the house? Oh, <laughs> Oka o o Okami? Okami? Okami. Getting re-released. And not coming out for and not coming out for Switch. Wait, it's not coming out for Switch. Nope. I did not hear that. What the Capcom? What do you expect? Fucking Capcom. <laughs> the one game they could have released that probably would have killed it in the Switch, and they don't release it for the Switch. Are you kidding me? Is anything coming out for for from Capcom to the Switch? Nothing that I know of. Nothing that I know of either. Right? Nothing. Fucking Capcom. No. Oh no! Wait a minute. They are Resident Evil. Uh, the Revelations. Revelations one and two. No. So. so oh yeah, yeah. So with the possibility of Resident, e I'm not Resident Evil with La Noire two coming out. Mm, okay. Big news. You just, I just can't believe they're gonna do a part two. I don't remember anything. Um, of the first one. I got to play the first one again. With the predictions coming out, I'm excited that Borderlands 3 is oh apparently God. on yeah. its way out. When? I don't know. Bro, I can't wait. But I'm not going to work. Next, uh, maybe next year. Yeah, maybe I'll take a week off. That's that's definitely a game where I will, I'll be in line to get that. It's like a million fucking weapons now. It's two times... Well, they, I mean, I, the amount of shit they can add now. Well, it's not how just, big they can make it. Well, f this is this is my um, theory, idea, or whatever. Dylan, you can you can tell me if I'm right or wrong in this aspect of the game. If you did, you guys play the pre sequel? Yes or no? Yeah, I beat it. Man, I you did. I, I did played too. like twenty minutes of that. I, I played the pre sequel. Um, the pre sequel. If the, this is where I'm at with it, there was a part, Dylan. Do you remember going into the lab to save the scientists? Yeah. Okay, when you go into the lab to save the scientists, he's talking about exploring planets that were completely submerged in water. Do you remember this? I don't okay. recall that too well. Okay, so in this idea, you know how you have the masks that give you oxygen? Yeah. Just, when you get involved, when know. you beat part two, they said that there are vaults all over, yes, I remember all that. over the galaxy, and then <laughs> in the pre sequel, they're talking about planets that are completely submerged underwater. In this idea, I think the reason why they use the moon to test out the gravity is because you're going to go in the levels that are completely underwater, and that's going to add a whole new dimension. To the game especially because you have masks that are based on having oxygen it's going to give a new dynamic to vehicles it's going to give a new dynamic to weapons um things along those lines from there take two is uh <laughs> <laughs> it is oh uh... <laughs> 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 It's through the related, yes. Oh, man. That's funny. 
He's the one who does the stunts. Oh, God, you guys. That's funny. <laughs> Bro, you made our day. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus now he's Christ. gonna fucking tell everybody about nah, this. This is funny. <laughs> Vin <you>. Diesel. <laughs> Call me Vin Diesel. <laughs> no, but um, but the idea is that um, Telltale wants their characters to be involved uh, from the Tales from the Borderlands game. Oh shit, that was that such was a good. That game. was really good too. That was probably one of the best. Um, and with that, so you have. These two games that rather than trying to make a full-blown game, like to try to make a part three, they had elements where they wanted to try to build on the build on a concept, but it wasn't solid and they wanted to, to test the water. And I feel like they're going to do a good... They could, if they do that... They could just go to different planets now instead of Pandora. Yeah, well, Pand- well, that's the thing. They they said that there's multiple planets that have multiple vaults. Jeez, I can't wait. And the idea here wait. is that one of the characters, spoiler, dies in Borderlands 2. He was the guy who had the turret. You remember? The black guy, the commando? Yeah. He died. Yes. Axton, in part two, has a turret. Every single one of the characters... Spoiler. Every single one of the characters in the game has different abilities, there's no reason why all eight characters could come back with the possibility of having more characters as DLC. That'd be amazing. There's a ton of stuff that they could do with it. And if they go and they do it, and Take Two works with Grand Theft Auto, if they can do what Grand Theft Auto has done, as far as, as far as DLC, where... We're just going to make cosmetics. You guys can buy cosmetic stuff, but the DLC, the levels, the maps and everything, we're just going to keep making them and making them and making them and call that a day. We're talking about massive amount of money for these people. I- yeah, it can make it happen. I mean, that's a great idea. That yeah, is a great can- idea. That's actually genius. They can make it like a... Overwatch. But there, we don't even have a release date. We don't have a trailer. We don't have anything. Yeah. No. no. Well, the only thing we have is a interview with Randy Pitchford, who's awesome. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, we have an interview with Randy Pitchford with IGN talking about how. Then they show like a little bit of what they're working on. Then they show like. Oh, they were they were showing their like new lighting cloth dynamics. Going to do. And... Oh yeah, they yeah, they, they, they showed their new red. engine. Um, what was I saying? Oh, come on. <laughs> You're talking uh, about IGN. Borderlands 3. No, no. I mean... They, Andy Pitchford talking right, to IGN? And yeah, he said 90% of our team is working on something big. So the... the yeah, that's I, Borderlands. Yeah, I could see... Or uh, maybe My Little Pony. You never know. No, no. I mean, what else is the, would they be working on? The Doom 2 sequel? I mean, mm. it's... Doom Nuke. <laughs> Duke Nukem. Well, there goes another 10 years. Well, no. He, it was funny because he was talking about that. And when he saw Duke Nukem, he was extremely impressed because he knew how small the team was that was making it and everything that they did. It's just everybody else was expecting the next greatest game because what? Duke Nukem came out in 1996. And it was like, what? The, like that game was... It was innovative. It was beautiful. It played well. In 96. Yeah. But that was the thing. It it, it was all of so that. So the last one was after 96? Didn't it just come out like three years ago? Yeah. It, it was Duke Nukem Forever. Absolutely garbage. Yeah. Shit. But that's because yeah. he... Pure mierda. Mm, yes. But he... Um, Randy, he knew the people who made the game. Randy worked with 3D Realms before he started to take over for Take Two. So he knew, he, from what he saw, he's like, oh my God, you guys did so much. But from what the rest of the video game world was expecting, it wasn't what they wanted. Dylan, what's wrong with your microphone? Nothing. Is it between your legs? Oh. Be honest. I mean, uh, watching. back to the Duke Nukem thing. Uh, I mean, they got into a bunch of lawsuits after they did? <laughs> Randy. Yeah, after they bought the IP from 
Okay. Whoever owned it at first. Um, uh, do you guys think going back to Borderlands and Switch? Um, uh, do you think you'll see Borderlands on uh the Switch? Oh my I could god, see that it. would be amazing. I could see it. It would. It wouldn't shock me. It, it, there's nothing about that that says that that would be extremely difficult. If you're bringing over Skyrim, you can bring over Borderlands, especially the cell shaded. Yes. Um, art. Yeah, there's not there's nothing that says that that couldn't be brought over. They could, they could pull it off, and it would be fucking amazing. Um, that's a, once again, that's a game you could just take on the go, and, and then you have to buy it twice. Yeah. <laughs> Stug <laughs> likes Vin Diesel. <laughs> uh, so what? What's next? Uh, well, I think we talked about everything about Nintendo Switch. I think there's nothing left. Can we? Can we talk about? The direct and Mario uh, Odyssey. <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah what let's what talk you about got? It. What you got? That thing looks fucking amazing, and not only amazing, but like maybe twice as big as Zelda did. It's twice as but, big. No. Like they 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 show like a list of places you can visit, and then they start scrolling down, and I was done after they passed the fifty. Are you kidding Number me? Mark. Yeah, no. It, and it has like all kinds of costumes and suits. and it, oh, don't it just forget looks... his nipples. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's talking to him about that. People are offended about the nipples. <laughs> <laughs> that that game looks Is it? Like, a... pure fun. Go ahead. Oh, no, I'm done. Oh, no. That I... was it? No, I... what not it? Um, is so is he going to Brooklyn? Is is it gonna have like a New York? I don't think it's Brooklyn be, because he's it's supposed to be different worlds. Well, no, but the, yeah, isn't it's... isn't it addressing how he's no longer a plumber? Yeah, I don't yeah. think that they're addressing that they're in not. the game. No, I thought they were. I thought they no, were they, too. They, th- they updated his whatever thing on uh, on Wikipedia. His Wiki page. Yeah, that was it. That was, that was it. it. Yeah. <laughs> The Wikipedia decides what he does for a living. What does he do for a living then? If he's not a plumber, <laughs> he's like a football player and a raccoon. I don't tell you what he's doing. He's 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 using. I don't know. It, does, it doesn't really matter. It matters. <laughs> We've been lied to for how many years yeah. now? Thirty. No, it's supposed to be he changed his job description. He changed. He his... changed. Oh. So, Change this so, so he, he oh my a, god he updated his resume and it's no longer yeah yeah pretty much now he's he's just he has a new uh, he's a lone wanderer he has a new objective <laughs> <laughs> the same objective over he doesn't even get paid for it he doesn't even get laid <laughs> no he doesn't <laughs> oh that's that's what Odyssey's all about is about getting laid <laughs> what <laughs> That's what they call it, the Odyssey. Ah, I see what you did there, Nintendo. You think they're gonna get married? I think they might do something because they're dressed like. Well, wedding. they they actually said that Mario is pissed that Bowser's trying to marry Peach and he's trying to get her back. That's the whole concept behind it. So it's a so it's official that he's been um. So she's it's not that Bowser's been kidnapping her. It's that she's just been leaving his ass. Yeah. I guess so. And so, so basically, Bowser. so this is what it is. It's Mario's the nice guy, and Bowser's like the abusive <laughs> the boyfriend. Guy. Yeah, yeah. And, that's and exactly so, what it is. But you know, he's got the nice car, and he's got the money, so she keeps going back to him, and then he hits her he's once. A gang and, leader, and, and and then Mario has to like go rescue her, and then he rescues her. And then she's like, "You're short and fat with a mustache." <laughs> so. <laughs> says, hey, so he says, "Am I gonna get laid?" And she says, "I'll bake you a fucking cake." Remember? She didn't even kiss Mar- him. She baked him a cake. Oh God. Mario's uh, the hero from Braid. <laughs> Mario's the hero from Braid. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Okay, so other news. Uh, how about we talk about that fucking iPhone X? No? Yeah. Skip no thanks. It. <laughs> what, did you, what did you say, Dylan? I said no thanks. No, no thanks. thanks. Dylan, really? what do you have? What's your phone? Uh, Seven. Do you have the seven? See? Yeah. See? Dylan. So people think he has no common sense, but he does, <laughs> a little bit. Nothing, Dylan. What? What are you? What? Put your two cents. I. I'll say my two cents. I. I have to go in person and look at it, see the new features before I even like attempt to think about upgrading my phone because my my shit is good right now. But a thousand dollars. 
that, that's expensive. But like, it's not that much further from seven hundred. <laughs> yes, it is three hundred dollars. <laughs> I don't. Absolutely, that's a fucking switch. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't see it. At least from my perspective, I don't see it as that much, because the way the cell phone plans are, the way they work, I mean, it's forty bucks a month. That that's that's what it is. Then that, that's what you play. That's that's what you. Okay, right, so, so, so 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 I got AT and T right, uh-huh. and it's forty bucks a month, and then I could either keep my phone or trade it in, get the new phone. But it's still only going to be forty bucks a month. And once I pay the phone off, it's my fault. Does that make sense? Yeah. Or I can just keep going with, um, or I can just constantly just keep swapping and upgrade. Like it's buying a car versus leasing a car. Yes. And that's the setup that they have, and that's what they created. Um, so I'm not looking at the thousand dollar price tag as, oh my god, it's a thousand dollars. I'm like, all right, well, it's forty bucks a month. Like, and in that aspect, I'll have it paid off in two years and from there from there um if it's if i want if they make something bigger and better i can swap it out for something bigger and better what this phone is i mean it's (laughs) you roll you roll your eyes because you're 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 no i i I owned an iphone for a little bit yeah it's it's very dark times in my (laughs) life Go ahead, you. But you say what you want. I, I was just talking. No, go ahead. Say what do you think? No, no. That that was me talking price. Your price. That's me talking price. Dylan, did you see anything that the iPhone is doing? I, name me five things the iPhone X is doing that Android hasn't done. Five, quick. Okay, four. <laughs> I know what. I, I, I actually haven't looked at it all that closely. Oh, you didn't look at it? You don't you know did. anything about it? I, I've seen it, but it, it a few. Okay. I didn't see anything other than the the emoji. The emoji. The animo, emo, whatever the fuck. Enemy emoji or whatever. There's nothing, nothing that impresses me. Everything is already... Available for Android. Right. So I don't see why I have to go and change. I like my freedom. I like to be able to do whatever I want with my phone. I like to place things around the way I want to. I don't need them to be telling me, this is Apple. You have to do it our way and that's it. And you're not allowed to. You can't change their ways. You have to do it the way they want you. And that's to me, it really sucks. But when it comes to power, yes, I heard it. They're already doing the test. It blows everything out of the water with power. Have you read that, Dylan? Yeah. It does power-wise as well, but I don't need fucking power if I, if, if, if I have to, you know. You know, it's like being rich in a communist country. <laughs> the money's not really yours, is it? Belongs to the government. Yes or no? Dylan, what are you doing? Uh, no, he's uh, listening to you. I'm listening to you, yeah. Oh, we're losing you is what it is <laughs> it, it, it is cutting in and out I don't know what happened to your feed right there well I mean this is I've I've said it before and I mean I'll continue to say it and Android th- this is where Android and this is where Apple are different to continue to for Android to continue to survive yeah they have to continue to innovate they, if, absolutely lo- looking at numbers I'm, I'm just going from a pure numbers standpoint it's like for every three iPhones, there's one Android person. I, I, I think that I could be wrong with my numbers, but I think it's three to one. So okay. they have a mass market. So for the Android to remain relevant, to try to continue to pull people over, they have to create. Yes? Yes. That being said, Apple is smart in the idea of we're going to see what you make, make it. We're going to take it and we're going to perfect it. Because the number one thing that I'm seeing, you said that the HTC has facial recognition, right? Yes. Every single website has said the iPhone X has facial recognition that works. And that's the key aspect there is that their products work. They don't innovate. I don't expect them to innovate. 
I, I don't expect them to innovate. From there, I'm old. And I don't want to customize and trick out and, and make everything. You're going to tell me that it's simple and this is the way it is and that's it. Because I don't use my phone for a whole lot. I use it for going on the internet, for sending a text message, for looking a video up on a YouTube and to download a podcast. But then that's, they, that's really okay, it. Okay, that's for you. It's, that, it's, they, so, and, and this is... This so is, then the camera doesn't get... You don't give a shit about the camera or anything. Oh, no. Either. I think the camera... The, the, what the new camera... Okay, so... The motion sensors. The, the motion sense. It's, um, it's the counterweight for the camera. So basically, they took technology that exists with cameras. The, the steady motion camera, it's an entire harness that goes with you that has a counterweight. So every time you take a step where the camera would move, the counterweight moves and it balances the camera. So no matter what, as I'm walking with the camera, it will stay perfect as if I'm walking it with a tripod. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's what they put into the iPhone camera on this 10 where you can move it and that bitch is going to stay focused on what you're doing. So this, it, it's going to give you better picture quality. If you're trying to do things, if you're trying to innovate shit like with um, multimedia where you're trying to do high res photos, high res video things along those lines you're, you're gonna do it i mean everything everything about that is i just don't like the fact that they make it look like they made it first and they do do it like oh that. i get that they, oh. i hate that no and i get it's like no this is not new no this is new for you oh and they but that's the funny thing and we go back we'll go I'm, i'll go to the xbox with that it's they say it but people are fucking stupid and they don't listen i heard it remember I, I, we were having the conversation over the phone where I acknowledged, like, look, dude, I'm not stupid. I recognize that you guys had this first. They take it and they just make it better. That's what they do. They say, they've said it. If you watch the press conference, it says it, that we have the highest resolution because their screen resolution, it's still not as, I want to say pure. It's off by like a hundred. It, it, so if it's like, 2300 on the iPhone it's 2400 on what's the new Galaxy 8? I don't know. I don't have the Galaxy 8. So I don't know. Dylan, do you know? No, I don't. What is it? But um the Galaxy I don't have the stats on me. No, 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 but but that's but they they the Note 8 though I heard is superior. Well, no, wait. No, the new one. Well, with the no, but I'm saying they say it is the highest resolution ever on the iPhone. On the iPhone. But people don't hear on the iPhone. Yes. They hear it's the highest resolution ever. That's what they hear. But I'm not stupid. I'm not fickle. But the other thing is, is I'm a teacher, so I teach this. Like th this is the these are the wording that you use. You hit them powerful in the beginning, and then you trail off at the end. That way they don't hear it. <laughs> but but it's true. Because that, like you said, all these Apple people, oh, we have this. And you're like, dude, we've had this for like three years. Because they only hear what they want to hear, not what's actually being said. That's why I try to pay attention to everything that's being said. And I acknowledge, dude, you guys had the facial recognition. You guys had the full screen display. You guys had the whole, like, I'm going to put my phone down on a tablet and it's going to charge. The wireless charging. All that stuff. You guys have had that now. For, they um, just released the wireless charging. That's the first iPhone to have wireless charging. Yeah, as far as oh I know. Oh my god, that's like super old technology. I, but I mean, it's there. They, and then they, they charge you more for it too. It's, it's so fucking ridiculous. Well, and the only thing, the only thing, like I said, the only thing is, is that it could be better. And with, I'm saying it could be better. And they're not even there's the the they they're calling it Air Power, and it's about the size of this, where you can put your phone, your watch. And, and your, the, and and your the, earphones. You can put them all. I don't know if they have it where it's to that degree where if you have a Samsung, like if you have your Galaxy and you have your smartwatch, if you can charge both things on the same I don't know. apparatus. I don't think so. I think that's where they're trying to... But even that's not even going to be available at release. They said that's not going to be available till next year. Well, it's not that far away. But, uh, but even but it, it next year could be September next year, not not twenty eighteen. <laughs> but this is where this is where where this is where I go and um, I acknowledge Apple, and then at the same time, um, I, I I give credit where credit's due, man. And and I Android Android will continue to make cool shit, and I sit back. I'm like. 
can't wait to get it in a couple years. <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> but it but at the same time, they're making it. Android's making a ton of stuff and a lot of that stuff I'm not gonna use. Yeah, they do. I mean that 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 an emoji thing, that Snapchat, I don't even have a fucking Snapchat, man. Me either. But it, my students will use the shit out of it. <laughs> they're gonna use it. And they're okay. gonna they're gonna play with all that stuff and they're gonna think it's the greatest thing ever. Yeah. Dylan, what you got? What you got? Well, what else have you played? As long as Android doesn't uh, have their phones explode again, I think they'll, they'll We'll operate. see about that. that was... That's the problem of putting more power in this. What was it at the end of the problem? It was the water resistant thing, right? Mm -hmm. They put water resistant oh. dust proof and they right, weren't well, letting any air into the phone. No, it was a free issue. It was the what? A, it was a bent circuit in the batteries that would make it explode. Oh, okay. Explode. That's a wonderful word you want to hear when you have your phone near your head. Oh, no, it was the only one that was charging. No, I, some guy's face got burned. God. Yeah. Some guy's dick got burned. So, I, I mean, how bad, are, how bad of a burn are we talking about? It was an explosion. But how bad of a burn are we talking Second about? I don't know. Why don't you put a firecracker in your face and you tell me how that no, feels? No, it's not on your face. It's on your ear. So, I mean, so you lose but, a chunk of ear. I'm, but, do, but you, 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 listen, 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 listen. Hear me out. You lose a chunk of your ear, and you may have like a badass little scar here that you say you got in the re war. Ready? But with that being said, what kind of check are you getting from Samsung? That's true. I'll, I I will happily take a chunk of my ear. I mean, some. How could they? Man. The balls that they have to release. Part nine is part nine. Is it? They jump from seven. Oh no! That no, that no. There's an eight coming out too. That's the one eight. How? I mean, you gotta be ballsy. Huh? I would have killed that fucking brand a long time ago. What? The iPhone eight? No, no, no. The the no. I'm talking about the Samsung Galaxy. Oh, oh this no, no. This fucking blue people's body parts, and you're gonna fucking release another one. You got you, these Koreans have balls. I mean, I mean if you go to a plane, it there's a sign that says Samsung Galaxy. 7 is not allowed. Samsung Galaxy 7 Note? Yeah, something like that. Is not allowed in the... F Do you know what kind of bad publicity that is when your phone is not allowed inside a fucking plane? Jesus Christ. So, Dylan, what you playing, man? Uh, Man, I've been on a fucking Nintendo spree. Uh, the Platoons, Rabbids, Zelda. Uh, other than that... I, you been playing uh, Splatoon? See, this is the ones. That, this is the type of person you you don't want your kids near. <laughs> <laughs> I actually fired up uh, Hopefully last night. Oh, what did you think? We talked about that last uh, two weeks ago. That is one beautiful game. It is uh, right. Yeah, For thirty the, bucks. This is this is the route I want games to go. Thirty bucks. Just just give it to me fucking straight. You know, give me a good story, good graphics. Yeah, yeah. like. And then, of course, if they add multiplayer and online and all this other shit, then charge me the 60. But for now, if you're just going to give me a fucking good story with good graphics, 30 bucks. Don't charge me another nickel. Right? I agree. Yeah. Do you uh, play anything else? Other I than played... that, I've been playing StarCraft. Rematch. StarCraft? Yeah, Star yeah, I'm a StarCraft. Holy shit. Are you are you talking the first one or the second the one? The remake? Remake, yeah. I started playing uh uh Dishonored today, Dylan. Have you played any of the other Dishonored? No, I have them all ready to go. Are you kidding me? This is the problem with people in Steam. They just crank the stuff <laughs> in there and then they never look at it again. This is yeah. what's wrong with digital. This is what's wrong with digital, I'm telling you. <laughs> So you you have physical games right there and you go like you know what I'm gonna play this because you can see it <laughs> but when it's just letters in a little fucking monitor you 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 you'll pass by it a hundred times and you don't ever play it Dylan how many games do you have in Steam that you haven't played probably good hundreds you see you just fucking buy them and you never look at them again and that's so it you get even more than that probably <laughs> <laughs> but Dishonored. <laughs> I played this on today and it's very good, guys. Check it out. It's very good. It's pretty much almost the same mechanics. It hasn't changed much. Uh, I'm talking about Death of Death of the What the hell was it called? 
See, you got me thinking death of a salesman because you said that before. And it's not the death of the... Outsider. Outsider. Yeah. Which is the guy who gives you the power. So that should be interesting. Come on. Uh, right next to me. Right what? next to me, I have a Dishonored 2 uh, collector's edition. The yeah, one with the mask? Yeah, he bought yep. the mask. He, what did you buy you, it for? You he wanted the mask. I, I wanted the mask, yeah. I'm still waiting uh, for that photo. You still have uh, yet to you still have yet to release a photo <laughs> of, of, of his clay. This dude has every goddamn figurine, and you buy this <laughs> shit? Yeah, man. This is I, why I mean, making. he's got he's got the um, he's got the chick from Horizon. He's yeah. got he's got like three different assassins. I mean, I, I do I, it sometimes, and then I sell them for more than what I pay for because people like Dylan. It's always somebody. <laughs> well, I don't I don't use. If I don't buy them pre-order, I usually don't buy them. Is you fucking crazy buying all that shit? Are you nuts? Send me. Listen, if you're gonna buy the Marvel versus Capcom one, just send me the Chun Li statue. You can keep the other four. I'm not. Interested. I haven't. Seen, I haven't seen the statues here for that. Oh, they're beautiful. what? There's like, but it's they're four hundred no, bucks. Yeah, something like that. But they're beautiful. They're really good statues. Look it up. Yeah. Um. So what else? Well, Anybody I'm, got anything else to include, Dylan? Frank been playing. What have I been? Well, I mean, the hurricane's been keeping me off. Yeah, of, uh, you can't play anything. Of yeah, <laughs> of everything. Um, the only thing that I really played, and the only thing that I keep really playing is, uh, I love my Titanfall. And uh, you'll play it to the end of time. <laughs> no, um, the one thing that I played over the uh, during the hurricane, and I've been playing it a lot, is their uh, their mobile app. They it's a. Uh, it's interesting. Some somebody said it's very similar to another game. I don't know what the other game is. Uh, it's a mobile app. It has cards and it's kind of um, RTS style game. It's actually really cool. What is it? What? What's it called? Titanfall. Oh, the... no! Uh, that, that's uh, that's what I've been playing. It's just Titanfall. Okay. It, 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 it's just Titanfall. Um, what like the Metal Gear? What do you mean? There wasn't Metal Gear a card game too? One of them? No, no, no. It's so like you have a map uh-huh. and then when you're playing on the map, there are three little, little points and you take the card and you swipe it to the area and a little character will come and run and, it, and the objective is to get 100 points. Each little circle is worth one point per like three seconds. But if you have two, then you're getting two points every three seconds. If you have all three, then you're getting three points and you just keep dropping guys in little spots and they battle each other and different characters have different abilities. Like some dude will have a flamethrower, another person will shoot grenades. Um, it's really cool. I like it a lot. Um, hopefully it's an element where it kind of takes Titanfall, makes it into this Halo with Halo Wars. Oh, I hate it, Halo. I mean, Halo... How dare you talk about Halo? George is not here. <laughs> no, but like <laughs> with Halo Wars, I felt when I saw that they released it, I'm like... There's only like six characters. You can't really do an R- a good RTS with six characters. What they're showing in this um, mobile app is that the world is actually quite bigger than what you've played both in the single player campaign and on the multiplayer. There is a bunch of stuff that they want to do and it keeps me interested in the game, in the lore. Um, I hope they continue... To do it, you know, respawn is has been doing good things. Uh, what what other games has respawn done? They just they've done the Titanfall and, and they've done it? this. God, it, but it, I but, know, but, but, but it, they... it, it, it's kind of like it's like remember when Bethesda was just Fallout? Yeah, I know. And, That's what I'm saying the great and, things are coming. Right, right, yeah. And I mean, That's, talking I about mo- talking about mobile. Hold on a second, Dylan. Talking about mobile. Talking about uh, Bethesda. That Fallout Shelter game. 100 million people have downloaded it. And it's not even their type, their type of game. 100 million. 100 million. That's a lot is of... Is it free? Yeah, it's free. I, I, there's, but there's I had no a uh, ad, what do you call it? Do they make you pay more shit? I don't think so. 100 million? 100 million. I kind of want to... I it. had it, and then I deleted it, but I might Dylan, go back. You, have you played it? Uh, was that the, the Fallout one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, one... Yeah. one with the I shelter, you, it, it came out the same day the E3, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, and I downloaded it. I played it for a little bit, but then there was something about it. I just like, I don't like this. And I 
stop playing it. But I've read online that a lot of people are like, this is really, like, it's really good. And the fact that it's lasted, what, over a year on, on mobile? More. Fallout is two years old now, isn't is it? it? Fallout 4 is two years old. No. Yes, it is, sir. Two years old. I think it came out in November... 20, 2015? 2015. Freaking Rebecca downloaded <laughs> Fallout. Right? Shout it came out in November 2015. Yeah. Ooh, man, how time flies. Wow. Soon I'm going to be 40 and you guys are going to be catching up right behind me. Don't even get there, man. I don't want to talk about age. Um, so, <laughs> Vin Diesel. So, before we uh before we wrap it up, what are we looking forward to coming up? Where we are we're getting ready to enter quarter 4. We're getting ready to enter the holiday season. So, we know the bigger blockbuster games for lack of a better term are coming let's start with the host in LA um <laughs> I think uh besides Odyssey of course uh you okay there the main one I'm looking forward to is probably Nino Cooney too oh Nino Cooney Nino Cooney too. I'm gonna wait for that for PC Nino Cooney 1 is not in PC right and I'm not sure Fuck. it will be. It, it will be NPC. The it, part two, though. Is that that's, official? That, part two is official, PC. Are you sure? It's a... God damn it, did you challenge me? <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> uh, other than that, um, what is it? I think I'm looking forward to uh, Battle... Uh, that Star Wars game. Oh. Battlefront. You don't even know the name and you're looking <laughs> forward for it? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Star Wars fan. I just didn't. I was gonna call it Battlefield for some reason. <laughs> yeah, no, I've done that too. Trust me, I've. I've... Oh. And other than that, I think N that's. Nino Kuni Two is being released in Steam. Boom. Okay, let's proceed. Uh, let me see. I would be a big liar if I won't say that I'm not gonna get Assassin's Creed. I'm gonna get Assassin's Creed. Oh yeah, yeah. And Assassin's I will play, Creed. the hell of it. And I and I really hope that they put online again, which I don't think they will. But that was the one I thing I miss of it is the online features. I you know the crap out of online, but the multiplayer. I, I was, oh my god, yeah. it was so good, and I wish they bring it back. But I'm gonna play that Mario, of course. I have to play the Mario game. Uh, man, there's another game that's coming out soon, and it's not Destiny. Ah, oh, man. Stop giving that game a plug. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like it pisses it's me off. It's a, <laughs> it pisses me off that he keeps plugging. It that was a horror game. game, man. The what evil is it? Within too. Yeah, I'm gonna get Evil Within oh, two. That's Look, that's a Capcom game. I forgot. You see, we couldn't think of a game. The Evil Within Two. Oh, within that's, he was Bethesda, dude. That's Bethesda. Is it? Yeah. It's not. Oh, that's right. The director used to work for Capcom. Yeah. Um, that's right. The, That's um, why it's so similar to Resident Evil. You see, I got confused there. So yeah, yeah. The, the those are probably going to be the top games. There's so many. Oh, middle, games. There's a lot more games coming out, man. I can't yeah, get Middle them Earth. All. I don't know. Middle Earth, I think, is going to be really, really good. Mm. I'm looking forward to it. I love the first one, but I didn't love it at the same time because it got all those Game of the Year awards. So I was expecting more. So you do play you? Yeah. Like, I, yeah, I was I, expecting way more too. Yeah, like I, I got it. I got it because I got my PlayStation on Black Friday. I wasn't gonna buy a PlayStation Four, but then I was like, I'm gonna wait till the price drops. But then Black Friday, it was like 400 bucks, and it came with Grand Theft Auto Five and The Last of Us for free. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Why? Why would I pass up on that deal? Which I've yet to regret because. Both of those games. I mean, hell, I'll, I'll put The Last of Us on every once in a while just to play. That <laughs> game was buying that game. <laughs> I love The Last of Us. The Last of Us was amazing. What other game? Um, and then I got uh, I got Shadow of Mordor for like twenty bucks on Black Friday. So I was like, yeah, sweet, because everybody's like, it's the game of the year. And I was like, it's good. This is a Batman. It was just Batman it, it was, and Lord it was, of the Rings. Yeah, Batman and Assassin's Creed. That, that's really yeah what exactly it yes it was exactly. it was Thank Batman you. and Assassin's Creed but it was still it wasn't bad it just wasn't it didn't live up to the hype for I me. didn't like the story um the South Park game I'm really looking forward to it <laughs> I want to play it too but I, the the stick of truth was really good I rented it and I didn't buy it so I didn't beat it 
Uh, but I really like the stick of truth. Did you hear Dylan about the the difficulty? Yeah, I heard about <laughs> <it>. <laughs> that that was uh, that was. <laughs> um, we have a you know I I feel like Battlefront. I'll get Battlefront for for the PlayStation if you guys. Yeah, get it. It, yeah. I mean, if you're gonna uh, get it, if we, I'm going to get it. I may not get it day one, but if we all agree to get it, then I'll get it day one. On I'm getting. I mean, I'm the only person who's only on P on the PS4. Are you? Yeah. No. No. Everybody else has PC. Frank, no, uh, I mean, what's I, his I name? Uh, George don't have a PC. I get EA games on uh, PlayStation too. Uh, and then from there, uh, the one game that I'm really looking forward to um, is Need for Speed. I think the Need for Speed game. How does that come out? That comes out in November. Um, I've always been a fan of Need for Speed, even though the games have really been bad. I always rent them. I always play them. Um, I heard some of them are really good. The last, yeah, I'm, I mean, the last one was good, except that one's only online. Going back to where this online only stuff sucks. It's like I couldn't, I can't play a single player game because it mm. always. They're getting rid of that feature. They're they're saying that you don't have to always be online. It does suck. I, it, mean, I mean, I literally cannot. You cannot play the game at all if you're not online. Cuphead. Um, when it, oh, you can't play Cuphead. Uh -oh. wah, 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 wah. Sorry. No. Um. With a. Uh, so the new one, they're they're taking some of the Grand Theft Auto stuff. Uh, they're taking the like three players jump from car to car kind of thing. Oh yeah, yeah. They're doing that. The games are going to be less about like trying to infiltrate, and it's going to be more like the Fast and the Furious, where they're trying to steal shit, and they're like, I like that better. I do too. Um, are they going to have cops? Yeah, there's cops. No people driving cops. Oh, I, driving the that, the cop cars. That I don't know. I, I don't know. But then a lot of the customization is really really cool. They're doing um, they're taking note of what the crew did, with going and being able to drive off road, and in the dirt and stuff along those lines. So it's gonna have like a full law and exploration mode where you don't have to stay on the road. You can drive off road. Um, it looks really interesting. So that's a game I'm looking forward to. What about Call of Duty? Nobody getting Call of Duty? No. Nobody? I haven't bought Call of Duty in like three years. Yeah, I mean, it's World War II. They're, 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 they saw the success of, of Battle, Battlefield. Yeah. And they're like, <laughs> Can you oh, blame right, them? We're going to do World War II again. I mean, I, I, I said it over and over again. The reason why Modern Warfare was so good is because it was realistic. It was realistic guns. It was realistic but everything. They're, they're, but they're talking about doing a new... They, they're hiring people with knowledgeable with guns. What was it? Of, of modern day guns. Did you read that? In I didn't news? read that. They're, they're hiring people. Yeah. So they think the next one will be modern, which I can't wait. And with this being said, you know, this is... This podcast is a lot longer than... Well, we uh, were two weeks behind. We're, we're two weeks behind, so we try to extend it... Um, Outside of that, I really don't have anything else. Nope. Uh, uh, it's been great. Thank you guys for listening. Mm -hmm. And uh, remember, if you like it, subscribe or hit a like. Um, next week, we'll probably do it early. I'm leaving for Nashville, 9 o'clock on Friday. 9 o'clock night? 9 o'clock so night, Friday. Let's do it. I'm off. All right. You work? I work. I work Friday, but I mean, I can come right after work. Or, right. we'll, But we'll have a we'll Mama, have Mama Fifi. On YouTube, yeah, <laughs> and we're gonna have two microphones. So we're gonna, <laughs> it's getting better as we progress. So, and if it's Dylan heavy. wants to, Dylan, you can join every Friday. This is great. Yeah, I like this. I'll see. I'll see what I can do. Oh well, I'm sorry. Well, excuse me, I'm, Mr. Well, Donald this, Trump. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you in such a busy time <laughs> of yours. Yeah, I'm law you're, enforcement. It's, <laughs> it's your privilege to have me on here. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's been real. It's been fun. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Take Have a good one. Bye. See ya. <laughs>